you know, it's really heartening to look at this participant list and not only see our students uh, current, but also I'm, I'm noticing some of our alumni dialing in. It's really great to see your faces. Thanks for turning on the videos. It's always nice to see, you know, uh, all of our guests. So this is not about the music and technology uh, uh, director. I really don't want to say much other than introduce some really, really talented seniors who are going to be sharing with you in the next 40 minutes or so some of their capstone work. Uh, some of it's pre-recorded, but it is, you know, very much a live presentation. So I am going to first um, introduce, well, we just heard about our award winner, apropos that she kicks off our concert, uh, Miss Kira Dillon. Kira, to you. Hi, first, thank you so much, Professor Harari, Dean Thomas, and the whole College of Arts and Letters for putting this together. Um, it's so great to see everyone. Um, so my senior thesis project is a self-produced and written album entitled Perspective. And it's all about perspective and how uh, perspective allows human emotion to be pretty universal. Uh, so the first song I'm going to perform today um, is called Not Yours. It's off the album. It's about being in a relationship that feels a little bit controlling and learning your self-worth through that. You don't like that I don't like to ask. You don't like that you don't know the past You want me to always fly half mast I guess I'll have to pass You want me to be your broken toy Fix me up, it's all part of your ploy Guess you thought I was yours to destroy What were you thinking of? Control me and how you tell me what to be. You fuel my insecurity. I caught on. You can no longer call me mine. Cause I'm not yours to define. Go on and try to change my mind. I won't. You know that I value what you think. So you sit there saying you won't let me sing. But it's you who filled the pool up to the brink And fooled me with the wink I don't like the way you control me And how you tell me what to be You fuel my insecurity I caught on You can no longer call me mine Cause I'm not yours to define Go on and try to change my mind I too self-involved to look around you thought you'd still be calling me baby i'll smash your ego right into the ground i know that you didn't mean to hurt me but you're too self-involved to look around you thought you'd still be calling me baby i'll smash your ego right into the ground I don't like the way you control me and how you tell me what to be. You fuel my insecurity. I caught on. You can no longer call me mine. Cause I'm not yours to define. Go on and try to change my mind. I've moved on. Bravo, bravo, Kira. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. And I'm having a bit of a share screen issue because my monitors went kaklui. My sorry. Yes. And now we would like to go to Mr. Noah Grande. Noah, would you do me a favor and uh, share your screen for the introduction? Uh, hello? Like my screen or my just should be speaking. Are oh, you are speaking? Yeah. I mean, I, my camera should be on. It is. Yeah. Uh, hi, everybody. Um, I'm Noah Grande. Uh, I made an album for my thesis. Um, yeah, and it's out, kind of. 
it's going to be like fully released uh, later on. But for right now, it's um, available on SoundCloud. And we're going to listen to the first three tracks off of it. Uh, I'd like to give a thank you to the whole music tech department, um, especially Mario, my advisor, uh, really helped me get through this whole thesis process. Thanks. Thanks. And let's go to your soundtrack. And here we come. I hope you're not all seeing my screens shifting. There's Noah. And here we go.
Bravo, Noah! Woohoo! Excellent. Excellent. Now I believe that we have Miss Paige Gardelman. Hi, everyone. Um, so I just want to first say thank you for being here today. Um, and thank you to the whole music tech department and my advisor, uh, Professor Durkoglu. There's no way I could have done this without her. Um, so just really quickly, my project focuses on the research of four emotional or physical responses. And based on this research, I've created my own compositions that aim to evoke these responses. So today I've prepared my stress relief piece for you. Um, so the beginning opens with a modulation to major to make you feel as if you've worked through something and you've arrived at a satisfying conclusion. And also some elements that you can keep your eye out for based on the research include major harmonies, a wide note range, many arpeggios and repetitive patterns, and a slow tempo that fluctuates to emulate the feeling of a wave. Thank you, Paige. And hopefully, I'll be able to do this better this time. Paige, here we go. Oh, not that one. Sorry. You know, this is kind of hard doing all this in a room. Yeah, let's see now. I've lost my controls. Folks, I had rehearsed this. I promise you I did. But I can't find my share screen. Stand by. Technical difficulties in the control center. <laughs> Never fails. Just when you need it the most. There we go. I need this command here. And I believe... Hey, somebody can tell me what screen they're looking at. I would be much appreciative. A bottle of wine. How about... Something? We're looking at the piano, Rob. Oh, you are? Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Well, let's hit play then. Oh, my goodness. I appreciate that. Okay, here we go. And here we go. Miss Paige Gardelsman.
Bravo, Paige. How wonderful. Excellent, excellent. And now we're going to move on to Mr. Hunter Kino, who's actually going to speak to us about his project. Hunter, the screen is yours. Please share. Can everyone see that? Yes. Great. Hi, my name is Hunter Kino. Uh, my thesis is Meet the Producers, Roles and Business Models of Leading Producers in the Music Industry. Um, <clears throat> the roles and business models have changed due to digital technology. Overall, the whole music industry changed um, in the past uh, 20 plus years, uh, but it's really been impacted by digital technology. There have been many positive impacts such as increased quality, consumer accessibility, and negative impacts, such as illegal file sharing, and artist, producer, uh, overall music industry compensation issues. The old traditional method of receiving revenue uh, changed completely, and now there are many new revenue uh, methods, such as streaming and distribution services. But with all this doom and gloom, there's new opportunity for independent music producers and others in the music industry. This thesis will evaluate how the roles and business models of leading producers were restructured in order for their continued success. So I interviewed six leading producers in New York City and the local New Jersey area. And um, I, I interviewed them and asked them questions about their roles, business models, and their success in the music industry, how they survived all these years. 
So overall, the, the new majority revenue streaming service um, are, is now through, through streaming services, distribution. Um, this change in monetization has resulted in less compensation for record labels, artists, producers, and led the over, overall music industry to find additional income avenues. So specifically, music producers had to reinvent themselves and expand not only their roles and responsibilities, but their overall business models. So I asked producers how they got their start, how they uh, got into the business, their skills, business models, how they manage their services to, to be successful. And they offer offered insight um, as to future roles might be for music producers in the future. So I interviewed uh, this producer named David Kahn. He's a record producer, musician, mix engineer, composer, and former record company executive, a and of Columbia Warner. I met with him at his studio in New York City for an interview. His career spans over 40 years in many categories of music. He's worked with classical artists, uh, rock artists, pop artists, um, Hollywood scoring, many artists. Godfrey Diamond is also a record producer, mix engineer, and songwriter. His career spans 45 years, and he's worked with many famous artists, including Luther Vandross, Etta James, Bernard Purdy, Lou Reed, Aerosmith, and many more. Steven's own Carlos Alomar, musician, songwriter, and producer, is best known for his work with David Bowie, um, but he's worked with many, art, uh, many various artists, um, including Paul McCartney, Simple Minds, Mick Jagger, um, and many, many in between. Uh, he served as David Bowie's director for 30 years, but he's had a whole career outside of that um, as a session player and uh, music producer. Uh, his ability to play different types of music has always made him in demand. And he's played on 32 gold and platinum records throughout his career. Steven Zone, Robert Harari, music producer, audio engineer, sound designer, live sound engineer, musician, composer, and educator. He's worked in the music industry for over 30 years, and he's worked on many uh, Grammy-nominated and Emmy award-winning television productions. Early in his career, he worked with Gregory Hines, um, and he, he got all these opportunities working live sound, um, such as working with artists such as Savian Glover, Spyro Gyro, Barbara Streisand, and many others. Steve Aviakis, is a music producer, recording engineer, mastering engineer, studio designer, and musician. He's worked in the industry for over 30 years, and he has uh, hundreds of credits on many jazz records. He's mo mo well known for his jazz work, but he also works uh, in other genres. He's owned his own studio in New York City, but currently owns his own mastering service. Steve Vealy, he graduated from Stevens. Um, he's newer to the industry. Uh, he got his start interning for Michael Brower at Electric Lady Studios. And now he currently owns his own freelance production business in Brooklyn. He's worked with Bon Jovi, Nora Jones, and he has all these credits. So these are some of the questions I asked the producer. What is the role of a music producer? The role of a producer changed throughout the years, and currently it's involved to uh, scope throughout uh, different roles. It, it, it has many roles today um, compared to the initial starting of a producer. Um, producers work with a band in achieving a shared vision and they have, they, they fall into different categories, have a, a range of expertise and accomplish different goals. Um, they're involved in performing on musical records, songwriting, arrangement, instrumentation, mixing, recording, and everything in between, just the overall art, artistic process. And they're very important to the process because they bring out the best in the artists. What are the skills of a music producer? Skill can vary and is based on experience. Producers collaborate with artists through their creative journey, like I said, and they can really be involved in any, any aspect of the creation process. They may specialize in a certain genre or combine different elements based on artist vision. Um, as a music producer, how do you set yourself apart creatively and technically? All the producers uh, agreed that you define what you, you, you are defined by your work and your diverse catalog, your experience, ability, your ability to stay updated with the changing technology, your quality of work, and communication with others within the music industry. How do you feel credibility is earned in your field? There are no real requirements, but overall producers agree that credits have a very important role in a producer's success because it shows your, 
not only your ability, but uh, that you're that you're serious within the music industry. Um, and I notice a lot of producers rely on word of mouth instead of um, having listed sources of, of their work, which is very interesting. I thought. How did you get your start in the music uh, business? Producers start as either creatives, uh, musicians, or recording engineers, mixing engineers. Um, a music producer is a blend between both of these, and a music producer is kind of uh, a graduate of both of these. Uh, over the many years that either musicians or, or mixing engineers, creatives, they over many years they work in the music industry or in studios. Um, they gain more experience and finally become a, a music producer, a well-known music producer. Um, and they usually take on their own clients. Are you independent freelance or do you have contract with record labels? Uh, music producers work in the industry in two ways, either freelance or corporately contracted. Overall, everyone uh, that I interviewed, the, the, the six uh, producers, they agreed that you have to do both today. Freelance producers rely on third party labels instead of searching for clients and uh, they work with them directly. Corporate producers are contracted by record labels um, and work with their signed artists for a specific term. How do producers take care of creative and business side? Overall, the producers agreed that they have outside help working on, on their business so they can focus on the creative aspects of the music industry. Um, they work on hundreds, uh, hundreds of works per year, and uh, it's not in their best interest to really focus on the business aspect and put all their time in. So they need outside help, such as lawyers, accountants, just to make sure all the uh, tax filing, paperwork, everything is is correct, and they don't get sued for working on music, basically. So they continue their role. What is your business model? Music producers have difficulty in finding a sustainable business model. This was something I came across frequently. Um, and throughout the, the, the interviews, they, all the producers I interviewed explained that they had to change their, their business models and, and the roles within the industry. Um, freelance work, like I explained, is, is pay for project, um, but it requires marketing, networking, and a lot of business. Corporately contracted is specific work for uh, overall a contract term um, it's paid work for a contract term and overall the music industry uh, is changing there's many new opportunities but uh, music producers don't need a record label anymore to be compensated and state instead need a, a viable business plan business model and they need to, to network a lot and communicate with others so they can sustain their business model how do genres impact producers income on streaming services Streaming services now have a hold on the music industry. Uh, there are many different types of uh, uh, genres, but from what I've seen and, and the data from Spotify and other streaming services, um, pop is obviously very prevalent and uh, pop producers and pop artists uh, gain more typically um, and receive more revenue than other uh, genres. So Spotify and streaming services are impacting um, the payout rates of these artists not compensating them well enough. And uh, they're, the streaming sites are controlling the advertising of these different artists. What is your view of the music industry and where do you believe it's heading? The music industry will heavily rely on technology, analytics, licensing, data tracking software. It's a huge part of the music industry. Uh, overall, the producers explained that pay for play is coming back from the 50s and 60s to uh, record labels paying uh, radio stations or today um, Spotify and other streaming services to advertise the artists, um, the record labels artists and, and promote them. Um, it's more difficult for producers overall to make money in the music industry um, because uh, streaming sites don't uh, compensate artists well enough. The convenience of uh, convenience is causing death in, in the music industry. Um, there's MP3 format on Spotify and other streaming services, not the best quality. Um, but overall, there's, there's this new opportunity for musicians um, to market themselves through social media, which is uh, free, you know, free, free platforms. And um, <clears throat> for the conclusion, I, I just wanted to summarize everything that I explained. Um, 
what worked today does not work in the past because of the changing technology, the changing business models, changing business of the music industry. Um, the producers shared their sustainable model was to change with the music industry. There are many new opportunities um, that uh, because of labels, uh, artists don't need labels to get compensated anymore. So they need a viable business model. I looked at data um, and I included it in, in my thesis of uh, different streaming services. 80% um, of the music industry's revenue and sales come from streaming, but uh, producers and artists aren't compensated well. So they need to look to other avenues such as licensing, sync licensing and TV and film. But uh, overall, uh, I'd just like to leave with um, all this doom and gloom, but, but there's a, uh, a positive change in the music industry, I believe. Uh, with changing technology, it's giving artists more of a, an opportunity to, to create and promote themselves. And I believe it's really important that um, people my age uh, don't get discouraged by, um, by all this outside commotion. Um, I believe that if you're uh, creative, if, if you have a, um, uh, a talent within the music industry, I feel like you won't have a problem um, being compensated for your, for your work. Thank you all. That's great, Hunter. Thank you very much. Um, you could stop your screen share. And now I would like to introduce, um, unfortunately, she's working today, but she has uh, provided such a wonderful clip. Here is Miss Jillian Caruso. Hello. My name is Jillian Crusoe, and my thesis project is a country album entitled So Far. I chose to create an album because of my upcoming plans to move to Nashville, Tennessee, and pursue a career as a performing artist. So because of these plans, I figured that the best possible thing that I could walk away from Stevens with, besides my amazing education, of course, is a solid and professional sounding body of work. I wrote each song on this album to represent a separate but equally impactful and important part of my life so far. And one of my main goals of this album was to be able to connect with my listeners on a deeply personal and emotional level. And since I released the album in the beginning of March, I received so much positive feedback that has really suggested that that goal has been achieved. So I'm extremely, extremely proud of how So Far came out. I gained an almost unfathomable amount of knowledge in the short months that it took for myself, as well as the amazing band of Stevens musicians and engineers who worked alongside me to complete it. And since I graduated in January, I've already put that knowledge to great use and begun working on my second album, which I'm very, very excited about. So Far is available on all major streaming platforms for anybody who wants to stream it in its entirety. But for today, I chose two songs to perform and they're entitled Running to Tennessee and Boomerang. And they're two of my favorite songs. And I think the message behind them is pretty self-explanatory. So I think we can just get right to it. I hope you enjoy listening to these two songs as well as the rest of the album as much as I enjoy creating them. Thanks so much. Don't come again for me. 
tired of waiting on what ifs and maybes I've decided I'm going away And it probably is for the best If you ask me to stay, I'd say yes But I know that it's time to get out of this place Probably is for the best I hope this letter finds you well I'm sorry if this is a problem But I'm going away to a place that don't know me I'm running to Tennessee Bravo, Jillian. We're running a little tight on time, so thank you, Jillian, for that song. If we get a chance, we'll get back to your other. Next, I would like to introduce Mr. Thomas Bloxham, who is going to introduce his project. Hi, everyone. Can everyone hear me? Great. So my project is called Double Arch for 10 Speakers. Um, it's a 100 minute composition that I designed for a site specific location. Um, this piece was going to play across 10 speakers um, and follow the arch form twice, spanning 100 minutes long. Um, the installation was going to be in 8 by 8 by 8 white room and it was going to be at Manor Contemporary in Jersey City. Um, unfortunately, due to COVID, it had to go online. And so the video that you're about to see is a, a short four minute snippet and um, it's just sort of a, a 3D realization of, of uh, what that room could have been like. Um, my piece explores form, time, and environment. And so I hope that through the video, you get to see some of those themes. Um, I also want to say thank you to the entire music tech program. Um, my advisor, Mario, who was amazing during this whole thing and really helped me um, realize my vision. And also to the visual art program for welcoming me into their group and nourishing this project uh, just as much as the m and program. So without further ado, I think, uh, I think Professor Harari has the video to play then. Perfect. All right, here it is. <laughs> Thank you. 
Bravo, Mr. Bloxong. Well done, Tom. Well done. Thank you very much. All right, we're moving right along because, as you can see, we are coming close to the end of our time. So right now, I would like to introduce Mr. Jenning, who has a song to play for us. Hey, everybody. Um, this is going to be a hard group of people to follow up, but um, I've done an album for my project, and the whole concept behind this was to figure out new ways to play with change in different um, cultural contexts and, and different kinds of music from around the world. And this piece I'm about to play for you is called Kuku Sanya, which means to gather in Swahili. And it's, it pulls a lot of influence from African grooves and dance music. So I hope you enjoy.
Bravo, Matthew Jennings. Very cool, and thank you for the imaging. Awesome. We are going to move right now to Dalton Newman. And uh, Dalton, please tell us about your projects. Hello, everyone. My project is called Growth Chaos Form and Beauty. It is a playable artwork where the player encounters an organism that serves as the bridge between separate environments. Interacting with the organism via a key press will trigger an auditory and visual change in the environment. It is at the moment a Mac based experience. The backbone of my artistic process is rooted in the work of experimental musicians, Brian Eno and Tim Hecker, as well as Darcy Thompson's study of biology and growth and form. These concepts guide the interactive auditory and visual language ingrained into my virtual domain. In this uh, project, I focus on how this experience exemplifies my belief of the ideal ratio between abstract and tangible within my work. So as you can see, we have Dalton's project up. Dalton will share with everybody a link on the chat screen so that you can go directly to his page and um, visit his wonderful work. So as we wind down, you know, it would be great to end where we started. So at this point, I would love to bring us back to our award winning Miss Kira Dillon. And uh, Kira, why don't you take it away and sing it out for us? Awesome. Thanks so much. Um, I just want to say congratulations to all my fellow seniors. Uh, so excited for you guys and excited to see where your talents and ambitions take you in life. And also a huge shout out to my advisor, Lainey Pfefferman. I couldn't have done any of this without you. You're the best. Uh, this is a song from my album about loving someone so much that you would do anything for them, even if it's a little bit implausible. I'll be there to make your day I got your back when you just say the word Nothing that I wouldn't do to support you In case you haven't heard I, I will do whatever it takes To put a smile on your face I throw hands with the man on the moon I'll fight off blanket monsters till noon I'd sail over the eighth sea for you Anything you want me to You know I do I do for you smile cause it's been a while since I've seen you take a break everything I have and more yeah it's all yours to take I'm right here to hear what's on your mind I'll lend an ear anytime cause you know I throw hands with the man on the moon I'll fight off Monsters till noon. I'd sail over the eighth sea for you. Anything you want me to, you know I do. I do for you. Ooh. Sometimes life doesn't go your way. Sometimes it your day but it's all right to not be okay but i'll fight off whatever's troubling you i'll stay in bed and cuddle till noon i'd go anywhere to get to you anything you need me to you know i do
Amazing. Amazing. I want to thank all of the music and tech students who were uh, seniors that performed for us today. Uh, what an amazing job. You know, our program is really inspiring, not only to the faculty, but um, the students themselves just thrive on each other's creativity. And it's so wonderful to see the support. If you didn't notice the chat screen, the support amongst the students was superb. So thank you to all the seniors. Congratulations on your graduation. And at this point, I am going to turn it over to Lindsay Cormack, who's going to introduce us to the other side of Cal. See ya.